What's going on guys? It's your boy ABC Delicious. I'm back yet again with another video. First and foremost, I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, and you're thriving in life. First and foremost, I want to apologize. It's been a minute since I did some videos. Just been busy. Uh, yeah, there's this other life called IRL, right? In real life. So for you today, I have an awesome video. The type of videos that I love to do. If you have no idea, don't worry, I'm going to tell you the answer. That would be, ding, 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 unboxing video. So, your boy got something in the mail. I'm very excited to share it with you. So, all right guys, so basically I changed the angle and I'm going to do an unboxing. I kind of learned from my other unboxing, not to show you guys my address just in case. I mean, I love and trust you all, but you never know. Although I'm a nobody, so no one's really going to hunt me down. But anyway, here we go. Let's see. The tension is palatable. Okay. Get myself a trusty pair of scissors or a knife. Depends what you want to do. Here we go. All right. Got to cut everything out. Let us see what I got today. All right. So, da 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 da. Ah, I, I love me a good unboxing. I don't know how, how you guys feel. All right. All right. Ah. I'm gonna put these to the side. By the way, gotta love these little air bubbles. Love to pop them, but stay focused, Edward. Here we go. Let us see what we have. And make sure I don't break anything. Okay, how's the easiest way? So, I guess I'm gonna cut. Please don't judge me on my poor cutting skills. And, let's see here. Okay. All right. Kudos to the person who shipped this to me. And before you get excited, no, it was not Apple, it was not Samsung. Unfortunately, I'm still a lowly micro influencer so here we go let's see what we got getting closer heart is palpitating feels good hopefully you guys are enjoying hopefully you guys are enjoying wherever you guys are watching from i'm getting closer and one more drum roll please da -da 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 -da. okay what do we have here all right ta-da all right, let's see if you guys can read it. This is called the Oppo Find N2. So basically for a while, so basically if you watched any of my videos, I've been rocking a Fold 3, which I love. Basically, once you go foldables, you can't go back. And why I enjoyed it, the one thing I would say about the Fold, or the Fold series just in general is, it's awesome when you open it up, but when it's closed, it has kind of a tall and narrow form factor. So in case you're wondering what I'm saying, da 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 da, this is my fold, okay? So when you open it up, like I said before, it has an awesome like mini iPad tablet kind of form. But when you close it, like I said before, um, it's a little bit thin and narrow. So when, when you're typing on it, it feels a little bit scrunched. Otherwise, been loving this. The only thing is, this is the Fold 3. I was checking out the Fold 4 and to me, it's an iterative upgrade. Now, I know Fold 4, what did they say? The hinge is a little bit tighter, stronger. The aspect ratio when it's closed, I believe it is three millimeters thicker. Please don't quote me if I'm wrong. Feel free to make a comment down below. And although I guess people have been saying it does help with typing, for me, it's still not ideal. Because if you think about it, when you're out and about, you're not gonna be rocking it like this all the time, especially when you're walking around. So most of the time when you're on a commute, you're gonna be holding it like this. So basically, kind of reminds me of a Sony Ericsson, just tall and narrow. So it's a weird kind of like Goldilocks proposition. It's like when it's open, it's awesome, but you're not gonna use that all the time. When it's closed, it's a little bit thin and narrow. So I just thought, you know, let's shake it up. I was debating between this, the Oppo Find N2, or the Pixel Fold, but right now the Pixel Fold is $17.99 for 256 gigabytes, or $512 for a little bit under $2,000, $1999, which I could get, 
but I just feel like right now it's first generation and let's wait for it to drop in price or maybe get the second. And for me, I was able to get a Oppo Find N2 for about a thousand plus off of Swappa, which I have talked about in previous videos. I feel like Swappa should do some kind of partnership with me. So here we go. Oh, I should have said this before, but today's video is going to be more of kind of like an unboxing video, my initial impressions. And then it's going to take me a little bit of time to load up the phone. I'll tell you about that in a subsequent video. And with this, unfortunately, I'm not Mr. Mobile or Flossy Cotter. So I got to pay for everything I get. So just like how it is to get this, I got to sell this. So anyway, here we go. But I, I could do some like comparisons before I, I sell that. So first and foremost, to compare it to the Z Fold box, there's no comparison. Let me, let me, let me show you something. This is the Oppo Find N. Kind of gargantuan, kind of big. Like they say in Texas, right? Go big or go small. This is the 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 uh, Zenfold 3. So look how much bigger it is. This is basically, I guess it's supposed to leave like a less of a carbon footprint. It's supposed to be better for the environment, but it's very basic, I would say. Look at this. This is basically like, look how much bigger it is, comparatively speaking, okay? So anyway, We'll see what's going on here. Let's see. Okay. This to the side. Open it up. Ta-da! Ah, that's nice. It kind of folds out. And then, take this. Okay. Ah, here we go. So I bought this uh, used, and I was talking to a nice guy off of Swappa, the seller. And it looks like he did his best to make sure it came to me nice and sound, which I appreciate greatly. All right, let me kind of get rid of the plastic. Oh, that is so nice. And before I look at this, let's see if there's anything else in the box. So let's see here. Don't see anything here. Looks like this is a charging brick. I believe it is 67 watts. This is supposed to charge your phone from zero to 100% in about 45 minutes. Again, if anything I say is wrong, feel free to comment down below. Uh, yeah, the only detriment I would say is basically this phone does not have wireless. Whereas the all the necessities, I was hoping for a case. because I, I do think if you buy it, it does come with a case. But this one does not seem to have a case with it, which he did tell me. So it's not like... You know, he lied to me or anything, but yeah, so far, okay. Seems a uh, little bit more going on here than the Samsung one, which is a little bit more minimalistic. Uh, if you're curious, I can show you. The Samsung is basically very bare bones. It is, let's see here. It's basically just the instruction manual and the SIM injector tool. And then the, you know, I think Samsung and Apple too, they basically have stopped giving charging bricks or even accessories, headphones, cases, which I don't agree with. I, I feel like you're spending premi a premium price, so give us give us more stuff. But uh, I get it, so put that to the side. All right, so let me see here. Wow, okay. So my initial thoughts so far. This is my first time looking at it. I haven't powered it up yet. I assume the kind gentleman who sold this to me basically had loaded up Google on it because basically, in case you're wondering, this is a China only phone and it does not come with Google. So, but Google is easily installed on it. Uh, my initial impressions, yeah, looks pretty good. It's a lot shorter than the Fold 4. I think the Fold 4 is a 6.2 inch uh, height when it's closed and I believe again feel free to correct me down below the Oppo is gonna be a 5.54 inch screen um, so it's definitely it's definitely uh, you know so I haven't had a phone this small in a long time uh, dating back maybe to an iPhone so what are my initial impressions it's definitely more one-handed and I think when I'm using it it'll definitely be easier to type so again this is the comparison in case you want to see it. And let's see what happens when you open it up. So when you open it up, 
I believe it is 7.1 inches inches in di diameter uh, compared to the 7.6 inch diameter of the fold fold uh, fold three. Again, I don't have the full four because I did not get that as I felt it was like an iterative upgrade with the exception of, I think it has a better camera, maybe like S22 caliber, a um, little bit stronger hinge. Yeah, that's about it. I felt like it was more of an iterative upgrade. And then if you're wondering why I did not want to wait for the Fold 5, well, A, I don't want to wait. And then B, I heard that one is also not going to be that much of a difference. Maybe like a tighter hinge. Uh, everything else is going to be the same. I do feel, and this is kind of like a side Samsung, it's like turning into Apple. They're the only foldable game right now. They're the only foldables you can get in the West. Well, with the exception of the Pixel Fold, that's going to be out in a month. So I think they got kind of comfortable. They just want to, they don't want to change up too much of the things. And then they have some things, you know, uh, waterproof IP, IP68, I think, waterproofing. Um, as well as wireless charging. Maybe that's why they didn't want to do it like this. Um, if you're looking at it, you can't tell, but like the hinge is a lot less prominent on the o on the Oppo than it is the Fold. Like if you look at it, you could kind of see that. You could definitely see the, you could definitely see the hinge. For me, it's not a big deal. Like you feel it a little bit when you go over it, but other otherwise it's pretty, like you just kind of learn to live with it. With this one, definitely feels like the like the hinge is lit a lot less prominent like you can't really see it like I, I think if you look at it at a certain angle like right there I don't know if you can see it but for sure um so far my initial impressions are it's definitely a lot smaller than I anticipated it to be um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing obviously I'm gonna use it for a while and then if I don't like it I will of course sell this one to get I don't know, either the Pixel or the Fold 5 or something else. Other contenders were gonna be the were gonna be the Vivo X2. I did think about the Mate X2, but it's still really expensive. And then uh, besides Swappa, you can kind of get it, get these phones, especially the China brands, off, off of Trading Senjin as well as Gistop, I think. So I'll put all the links down below for that in case you guys want what you're wondering about. Obviously, you can look on eBay too as well, but I always always feel like eBay is more expensive, like they add a penalty. So if you want the cheapest, definitely go to the aforementioned Giztop or Trading Sengen uh, or Swappa if you're in the States. Okay, so again, this is thicker and shorter. And then this one is long, taller and more narrow. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, I got the one, it's kind of like a, a faux leather on the back. It's pretty good. I'm definitely going to, because I'm in the States, they don't have a lot of cases for non-Samsung Apple Apple users. So well, I already ordered a couple cases off of eBay and it's gonna take me a minute to get there. Cases as well as kind of like a, I think some, I also ordered like a sticker thing. I, I would love it if Dbrand did it, but Dbrand does not do anything with this, for example, but that's also, I'm kind of glad I got the, the pleather, so this should hide sweat as well as scratch a little bit better, but I'm definitely gonna rock a case. So I have that coming. And again, this is what it looks like folded. Okay, from the back, okay, notice the D-brand skin. And then the camera setup is a little bit different, whereas Samsung has the three going down and then you have this kind of thing going, going on. So I'll definitely, do a comparison. I, I can definitely do a comparison if that's what you guys want. Um, other thoughts. So it looks like this when it is unfolded. And this is from the back, okay? So, yeah, we'll see. Definitely, I would say definitely this is going to be a lot lighter. And I would also say the hinge is just, it's not too bad because this can do uh, what Samsung does. So Samsung does it kind of like a flex mode. You could put it at any different angle. And then let's see here. Yeah. Um, the Oppo can also do that as well. The Oppo Find N2. Um, this is like a lot of people don't care about this. That's another reason why I would not get the, oh, Xiaomi Fold because you can't do it. For me, if you haven't used that foldable, you're probably wondering why, but I just feel like just to be able to make its own stand 
to watch content, watch YouTube when I'm brushing my teeth, put it there. I could just do it like that. Whereas like on a phone, I would have to kind of have a case or have a kickstand. So this is really good. Obviously, like Mr. Mobile says, I'm shouting him out again, one of my favorite tech YouTubers. You could also take pictures like this. I haven't done that yet. I'm not really about that life, like doing selfies, that kind of thing. I always just either take pictures or I have someone else take a picture. Haven't really gotten into that. But um, yeah, the only thing, other thing I would say is the Samsung, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a, it has a under the, the display camera, which is not that good in quality, but it's supposed to hide it. And it looks like this one, if you look at it, has one right there. It's a little cut out. Some people, they don't like that because they feel like it interrupts whatever they're watching. For me, I, I, you know, I've gotten used to it and I do think um, if the quality is better, it's good. I think both, you could kind of, you could kind of switch it around and then make your cover screen your selfie camera. So it should be better quality uh, on this one especially. But for me, I don't do that. Um, so yeah, yeah. So again, my thoughts, definitely a lot smaller, definitely one-handed. Gotta see what this looks like. Um, it's been a while since I've been rocking a such a small form factor, but it's definitely lighter. I could see myself holding onto this and watching stuff for a longer period of time because with my Samsung, sometimes I'm on my bed and I you know, hold it above my head and sometimes, uh, don't judge me, I'll, I'll drop it on my head or whatever. And then with this, I just don't think, this just looks like, this just looks like basically when I'm folded, which is the majority of the time, it's going to be a lot better when I'm using Line or WhatsApp or Tinder, haha, or, or anything. So yeah, that's about it. Wow, I didn't mean for this video to be so long. And again, I'm definitely going to do more content in the future. And if you want me to do a comparison video, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm probably going to load this up with stuff, see how it works, and then hit you guys up with another video. So anyway, I think that's about it. I'm gonna switch angles again, okay? So I think that's gonna be it for the video today. Please, comment, like, subscribe down below. It really helps out with the channel. And until the next video, peace.